He wanted James. He gets him. James drives. James is fouled and won. LeBron. Just how ironic one of the worst road teams in the NBA during the regular season will have the biggest road win of the playoffs. As Curry lays it up and in a 50-point game seven for Steph Curry. We get it one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you take this moment for granted. Two of the NBA's all-time greats going at it. The winner gets a chance to make it to the conference finals as the leader of their basketball team. It's four rings on this side. It's four rings on that side. All-time great on this side. All-time great on that side is Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors taking on LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. There are so many different storylines every which way possible. LeBron James can say, yo, Steph. I've been that guy my entire career. I didn't come into the league with an ankle injury. I've been ready to ball from day one. It took you a few to get it right. And also, you had to get a guy by the name of Kevin Durant to take me down last time I checked. I had your number. I came back from three games to one down with my man Kyrie Irving to beat y'all. And I would have had more if it wasn't for you bringing in Kevin Durant. It's like Scooby-Doo, if it wasn't for the meddling kids, you had to go get KD to stop me. I would have more rings if not for you going get it, to get that easy money sniper. Steph Curry's got an argument on his side. Hold on, Bron. Now, wait a minute now. You done got all the praise and the accolades over the year, but I done got four championships two MVPs and one finals MVP in the LeBron James era. I'm a bad boy, too. I can cock that thing, too. What are you the greatest at? I'm known as the greatest three-point shooter of all time, and I'm only 34. I got an opportunity to go get me a couple more of them things before it's all said and done. If I beat you this time, many would argue this is your last go around the sun as a competitor in the Western Conference, LeBron. You got all these conflicting storylines. Draymond Green, will he be a Los Angeles Laker come this time next year? There are some rumblings out there that the Warriors will not pay Dre. Klay Thompson believes he should get a max contract from the Golden State Warriors after this season. He's entering the last year of his deal. Anthony Davis will always be a storyline for the Los Angeles Lakers. This dude is always injured. We know he's a phenomenal talent, but he can't stay healthy. Lakers, by the way, after this year, pretty much don't have none of their core guys that helped them get to the best record in the NBA over the latter part of the season. Not named Jared Vanderbilt. All those guys are free agents this offseason. Who do the Lakers pick and choose to sign? Obviously, that decision needs to come quicker if they're eliminated by the reigning NBA champion, Golden State Warriors. It's four rings on this side, four rings on that side. Somebody's going home in the second round of the playoffs, which leads me to that moment of truth. I got to make a prediction on this series, ladies and gentlemen. Golden State Warriors, Los Angeles Lakers. Who does your boy Pharaoh have? Oh, boy. I've went back and forth with this one over and over. If you want me to be truthful to you, up into a couple hours ago, I was going to pick the Golden State Warriors in six games. That's what my mind is telling me to do. My mind is telling me that the X factor for the Golden State Warriors is Kevon Looney because my mind saw Kevon Looney dominate Anthony Davis two times this year in regular season matchups. AD literally didn't want nothing to do with boxing out Kevon Looney on these offensive rebounds. He wanted nothing to do with it. Darvin Ham has made it clear that he's making Anthony Davis play the five, whether he likes it or not. My mind is telling me to pick the Warriors in six game games. But my heart, y'all, oh, my heart. Whew, man, this is tough. I'm going to roll with my heart on this one. I'm picking my Los Angeles Lakers to beat the Golden State Warriors in six. I don't believe this is a seven-game series because we're talking about two teams that got savvy guys on both ends of the court 
what I believe will happen is once a team figures it out, they figure it out and close this bad boy out in six games. So I was either going to go Warriors in six or Lakers in six. I'm going to go Lakers in six. For the Lakers, their key player will be D'Angelo Russell. And this is why. As many of you know, throughout the Steph Curry era, as a Golden State Warrior, a lot of their success has been about hiding Steph on defense. The only place I can see the Warriors hiding Steph in this series is on D'Angelo Russell. In theory, they will hide him on Jared Vanderbilt. The Warriors are always trying to find the non-shooter on the court that's going to stand in the corner. But Jared is such an attacker of the boards, I don't believe that will work in the Warriors' favor to hide Steph on Vanderbilt. We'll see what Steve Kerr has come up with. So if they're not going to be able to hide Steph on Jared, he's just a little too big and a little too active inside to hide him on, uh, on, on, on Jared for, for Curry. That means Curry is going to have to guard D'Angelo Russell, which means he is the key to this series for the Lakers. He's got to make Curry work because Kevon Looney is going to make Anthony Davis work. Is D'Angelo Russell anywhere in the same realm of Steph Curry? No. Is Kevon Looney anywhere in the realm of Anthony Davis? Nah. But what these dudes can do is make these star players work on the opposite ends of the court, which will slow them down. It's a win if Kevon Looney makes 80 work to the point where 80 doesn't average 28 in this series. He averages 24. That's a big difference. It's a win for D'Angelo Russell and the Lakers if D'Lo makes Steph work to the tune of Steph not averaging 32 in this series. He averages about 27. It's a win. That's making them work. When you're at that level, that's helping. I'm picking the Lakers with my heart in six games. I'm afraid because I think Kevon Looney is going to dominate this series. I really do. I've watched every Warriors and Lakers matchup this year, and a couple times over, that's been the storyline. I think Anthony Davis was hurt for one of the matchups. I'm rolling with my heart, man. Heart don't let me down. L.A. don't let me down, man. I don't, do not let me down. I got Lakers in six. Let me know your thoughts, your comments, your predictions on this colossal. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, boy. This great all-time series with two of the greatest players of all time going at it on the back ends of their primes. <laughs>